don't even know what this is. I don't feel like driving all the way back to my mom to get it. Look at this garbage. Please, please let me know if you know about this honeycomb crap. <laughs> chilly out this morning <clears throat> excuse me these are my first words for the day so i gotta clear my throat a little bit so exciting news well minor exciting news one of my neighbors this is the great thing about living in an rv park you have a ton of older gentlemen who are retired and just want nothing more than to help you with your projects. <laughs> so, I have uh, several guys here in the park that um, I'm either borrowing tools from, thank you for that, or uh, another gentleman, yes, who helped me um, with this. Let me borrow an extension cord. So what he did is he came over here with some chisels and he chiseled this bolt out of here. I mean, it took two, two bolts. Took him maybe less than five minutes. And I'll... He's out. He's out. So, don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Find some place to get rid of it, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna start on this side and continue where I left off in the last video. And I'm going to take out all this honeycomb crap stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it's all rotted and it needs to come out. Um, the railing that's on the other side behind you guys, I cannot take off right now. Because I bought, brought my only tools that I have to my mom's house because I was working on the tiny house over there last week. Um, that'll be a video coming out in the near future sometime soon but so now I'm stuck here without any tools and I don't really feel like driving all the way back over there just to get it um because it's about an hour drive there and then an hour drive back and then once I do that then it's like I've already lost my momentum you know I got to keep going when I got it so I'll either do what I can do or I'll go to one of my little my little friends here next door and uh, borrow one of their tools. So I'm just gonna kind of keep going with what I'm doing and see where it ends up. You baby. Hmm. Since we're singing that song. Okay. That is all I want for Christmas is for you guys to please subscribe to my channels. I am seeing that a good good portion of my views are coming from people who aren't subscribed. So it's free to subscribe. All you gotta do is like put in your name and an email address. I mean, quick little simple task. And if you don't want emails coming in, just click, I don't want emails. But there, it's, there's really not much to it. You know, you just follow the self-explanatory instructions and wham, bam, there you are. Subscribe to my channel. Doesn't cost you anything. Um, and then also my new channel that I started, Unique Spaces and Places in Florida with the and symbol. And that is a new channel I started a couple weeks ago that is going to specifically have different unique spaces and places that I go and visit. Mainly Airbnbs and whatnot, but I'm sure eventually it will evolve into maybe cool restaurants or just anything. Anything that I think is unique and cool, I will put on that channel. So please go over and subscribe to that channel as well because next week I have a video ready to go. I will only be posting on that second channel every two weeks. Um, so I have a, a new one coming up of a really cool 
place that I stayed in in Lake Placid, Florida. And um, yeah, that will be coming out, I think, next Wednesday. I'm not sure. I forget. I've changed the day so many times. But, but yes, please go subscribe to that channel. And when you're subscribing to my channels, make sure you hit the notification bell too. That way, every time I put out a new video, it'll send you a reminder, say, hey, Florida Chick just put out a new video, or hey, Unique Spaces and Places just put out a new video today. And you can quickly run over there and watch it and comment and like it and share. Big thing is sharing my content. I mean, my views have gone down so much, it's crazy. I'm, 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 I'm losing the algorithm of YouTube and it, it's quite frustrating, honestly, um, because I was doing so good there for a minute, but that's when I was trying to talk all about Hurricane Ian. And as much as that is impacting me, my channel isn't necessarily all about just Hurricane Ian. So I should have rode out that wave as long as I could, but I didn't. So here I am, but yes, sharing my content on your social media, with your friends, family, emails, wherever will help get my videos out to more people. So more people are clicking on it and watching it and all that fun stuff. So anyways, let's get into the build or the, or the demolition part. And those cows are making a ruckus this morning. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. I'm surrounded by nothing but cow fields. Cows to the left, cows to the right, cows to the back, cows to the front, literally surrounded by cows, which I love because cows are so cute. All right. <laughs> anything with me so I, I don't even know what this is but it's got a little little pencil head here and a little claw hook here so I think maybe if I whack this stuff with it it'll break it up. That little rotor razor tool that I have that um, the company sent to me, the seven in one little power tool that would come in so handy right now. And I don't feel like driving all the way back to my mom to get it. So my neighbor just stopped by and I'm going to go change my clothes because it's starting to get a little hot and I'm gonna go down there and he's gonna let me borrow a tool that is very similar to mine. And I'm gonna try to see if I can cut all this crap off and make this job a little easier on myself. All right, so just got back from a walk with my neighbor and his wife. So that was nice. Oh, and the two doggies, which they're besties. Bentley is besties with another dog. That's so amazing. He's usually not a, he's not a doggy person. But um, yes, yeah, so he let me borrow this tool here. I'm not sure what it's called, but oh, don't mind this line across my head. I was wearing a hat to keep the sun out of my eyes. Whew, I'm out of breath. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in and get her done. <laughs>
rotted garbage, I tell you. Cut a little more up top. I think I need another blade. Okay, so now I'm running into an issue right here because there's another piece of metal strip right here that this will not cut through. And this is all pretty thick as well and it's taking forever. This is not the proper tool. Unfortunately, it is getting the job done, but it is making it very difficult on me. So I'm going to call it a day on this part of it. Um, I went around with um, whatever you call this damn thing, a grinder or I don't know, with this wire brush and kind of sanded down this uh, as much as the honeycomb cardboard or whatever that crap is off of here because I'm pretty sure that fiberglass there is the exact fiberglass that is the outside. So um, I don't think I can't quite tell. It kind of looks like there might be a thin layer of this on top of that, but I'm not about to cut it and find out. So I'm gonna wait till maybe you guys know if there if this is a layer that is on the outside or the inside of the outside layer of fiberglass, or if this all this honeycomb stuff is stuck directly to the exterior fiberglass wall. Um, so yeah. This side, I'm not even gonna try to start tackling that till I get that, that rotor razor over here. So yeah, guys, please let me know if you know about this honeycomb crap here. I know a couple of you had mentioned something about it. Um, I don't know if this is specifically what you were talking about, but um, yeah, I don't wanna do any more damage to, to this bus than there already is. So please let me know. Do I, is there another layer there of that crap that I take off or do I just sand out the rest of that them little bumps from the honeycomb that's already there because that is the exterior wall. See you guys next time. Bye.